We are sorry. Those are the words of Mike Fannin, the president and editor of the Kansas City Star, apologizing to readers of one of the Midwest's most influential newspapers for its decades-long history of racist news coverage. Following the police killing of George Floyd, at the suggestion of reporter Mara Rose Williams, the newspaper began examining how it covered race and the black community since its founding in 1880. Kansas City Star reporters reviewed thousands of pages from their 140 years in print. Fannin says, quote, reporters were frequently sickened by what they found. They felt shame at what was missing, the achievements, aspirations, and milestones of an entire population routinely overlooked, as if black people were invisible. Now the paper is owning and apologizing for its mistakes. Mike Fannin says the paper has disenfranchised, ignored, and scorned generation of black Kansas citizens. It robbed an entire community of opportunity, dignity, justice, and recognition. Joining me now, the president and the editor of the Kansas City Star, Mike Fannin. Uh, Mike, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Ever since the, the, the death of George Floyd, good people who lead organizations, including journalistic organizations around the country, have all had a discussion about having greater diversity, seeing things differently, reporting more broadly. But the Kansas City Star went further. You engaged in a deep look at things that came long before any of you who work there now ever worked there. Why, what was the point of going all the way back, 140 years back and looking at all of the coverage? Well, once we understood exactly what that coverage said and didn't say in, in, in many cases, um, you know, it wasn't a decision to make. Uh, once we knew to the extent that, uh, that the star had really failed to help, uh, you know, the the community progress on this front. Um, we felt like it was an opportunity to, you know, lay ourselves bare and do some moral inventory. Um, and I think that without that self-examination, I think many in the community felt we lacked the credibility to tell some of those accountability stories. What's the ability of journalists in the organization to say, I wasn't here for any of that thing. Times were different. Um, there were there were black newspapers that served black communities across America. That wasn't the role, but now we are what we are. And I ask you this because all of us need to do this, right? We have to say what came before us and, and what set the tone for who we are today. How did your reporters and, and, and your journalists interact with the idea that they didn't do the bad things, many of the bad things that you were talking about? Yeah, thanks, Ollie. I I, we, we did have some of those conversations uh, and, you know, some of the conversations were along the lines of, well, this has happened at Metro newspapers across the country, um, but it still doesn't change the fact that it was wrong and that it affected generations of Kansas Cityans who, you know, weren't given the recognition or the opportunity, um, you know, through the platform, through, you know, what was a mighty platform at the time for the Kansas City Star, one of the biggest papers in six states subscribers in six states, a giant platform and, and you know, um, a stage from which the star could have um, made a real difference in, in uh, making Kansas City a more, you know, equality-based city. Interesting uh, lesson in the idea that you can take responsibility without taking uh, blame for something. What does this do for you moving forward? How, how is the Kansas City Star going to be different uh, in a way that, that doesn't repeat the mistakes of the past? Sure. And, and, and you know, to be clear, we're not perfect now. So uh, we make mistakes now. We've made, you know, mistakes, uh, you know, and we'll probably continue to make them, but we want them to be honest mistakes that we learn from. Um, so, you know, what we take away from it is a whole list of, of bullet point items, starting with the advisory board um, that, that we've named to work with us throughout 2021 on, you know, identifying uh, further progress that we can make and on, um, you know, uh, really reviewing the key issues of the day, the things that come up in our newsroom. Um, and, and there are a number of improvements that we've made this year uh, and made in recent years, and and we just need to keep getting better and 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 rebuilding that relationship. There's just relationship repair that has to happen here, and not just for us, but like I said, part of our our reason for doing this is hopefully to spur other other self examinations across the country and news outlets.
What a great journalistic uh, endeavor in a time when journalism uh, is under such pressure and criticism uh, from, from viewers and readers and listeners across the country. Mike, thank you for the example that you and your staff have led. Mike Fannin is the, uh, the editor of the Kansas City Star. We appreciate your time tonight and those efforts. That's tonight's uh, last word. The Senate is in the middle of voting on the COVID relief bill. Stay here on MSNBC for the final tally. The 11th hour with Brian Williams begins now.